Alright, what's up worldwide family? How are we doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Jimmy Flippin' Dills. Whoa, what's up with my camera? Huh. It's a little foggy. Oh, my case. Or my, my screen protector. Yeah, that's a little better. Uh, I gotta get a new phone. Uh, that's, that's not bad, though. I think it was just... Anyway, the, um, uh, the, the glass cover uh, is a little little messed up at the moment so I need to get a new one of those I'm getting a new phone too uh, but thank you so much for joining me it's not horrible horrible I apologize I have it right in a, in a couple days I think uh, uh, so uh, welcome back to the channel here we go all right uh, yeah Jimmy flipping deals Jamestown trading company got about 15 minutes to make a 15 minute drive as long as I don't get uh, stuck too long uh, dropping off my packages I'll be all right now I am still having issues I think I told y'all yesterday about the tire in the front is going down and I didn't have anywhere to fix it yesterday and I wanted to go see family I knocked all that out I was able to get that done on the the, uh, uh, the tire that's having issues I'd love to get the spare out but in order to do that apparently I got to get in the back seat and as y'all can tell that's not quite happening yet I uh, was able to take a few totes out of here yesterday, just throw them out in, uh, totes worth, throw them out into totes, stick them uh, over at the house and call that uh, done for the moment. I've probably got, well, many, many totes left that I just need to peel out of here before I give this truck back to my uncle. It's my dad's truck, but give it back to my uncle uh, on, uh, on Wednesday. Come on, guy. I don't have time for this. Oh my goodness. Oh my got those. Oh my cats. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's a good deal. I have been looking at box trucks, but I really, really believe with the new house new houses coming up uh, that I'm going to have to wait. I think I can make do without it for the time being. Uh, but come, uh, you know, Q4 next year, Q3 next year, it's going to be a must-have. Uh, I, I may have to get comfortable uh, carrying the trailer around or get comfortable uh, bringing in the new stuff, whether it's cataloged or not, bringing it in from the car every night. Uh, so things are going to have to change just a little bit, uh, but I still think it's very, very workable. Uh, the car's how I built my business. This thing has just been Q4, so uh, it, um, it, it, it will uh, it'll be just fine. I am excited to see uh, this thing leaving. Uh, this has been quite an expense that's not necessary in my opinion. And uh, it, it's nice to see it go for that reason. I like the truck. Don't get me wrong. It looks nice. It drives nice. For the most part, it's got some issues, but it, it, uh, it, you know, but for the amount of money, I personally would not spend the kind of money that, that we're spending on this, that Dad's spending on this, uh, for this truck. I just, they gave me the opportunity. I said, no, not a chance. Uh, I would pay just as much money uh, for a box truck, but that's the direction that I'm heading. Uh, so it, it's good to see that it uh, looks like either my uncle's uh, going to buy it or he's got a potential buyer for it. Uh, so I will be happy when that goes. This is like over $600 a month every month for this truck. And I spent $2,400 on my car uh, three and a half years ago. And although it's not going to last forever, uh, I am of that mindset that, that paid for uh, is nice. Uh, the, the transmission on this one's not the strongest. I could not see signing up for a three or four year note with this thing. Uh, but best of luck to anybody that does. So uh, the, definitely going to be, uh, what do you call that, uh, fully transparent about the condition of it. Uh, that way they know what they're getting into for, for a price that uh, they, can, they can find agreeable. So uh, yeah, moving along. That'll happen on Wednesday. I haven't got the car up and going yet. I know I need to air up the tires. I may very well need to put another battery in there. Uh, it's been sitting for all of, well, about six months now, all of summer. I didn't have air conditioning. It's got great heat, but didn't have air conditioning. So when the truck became available, I just started driving it. 
Uh, it does look like um, the gift card season is upon us, right? I got I got a heck of a sale yesterday, guys, on this World War II flashlight that I picked up for uh, I picked it up for ten dollars back five six months ago, and I started the price out at the real top top of the market. Most of the time they're going for uh, eighty nine dollars to a hundred dollars something right around in there 110 but occasionally occasionally they'll hit 200 so I started mine out at 200 just to see what would happen and I have semi-aggressively compared relative to the way I normally mark things down start marking it down uh, and I'd gotten down to 175 on it and I got an offer yesterday for 125 and in all honesty the last couple of days have been a little slow I didn't want to lose it, so rather than just firing back, you know, 150 or 160 or, or anything like that, I asked him, big question mark, would you consider 150, meet me in the middle of 150? He, she, I don't know. Uh, and uh, they responded back and said, you know, I, uh, it may very well be worth 150. I'm offering you what I have. I got to thinking about that, you know, uh, you can't get what you don't have. Uh, and I did want the sale, and I did buy it for $10, and it shipped out at a 12 ounce rate. Uh, so I did do the deal. Uh, so super, super nice profit on that, what, 107, right at 100, right at a $90 profit off of that one little flashlight yesterday, leaving out today. Uh, and considering that I'd only got a couple little sales on Christmas Eve, I probably made 10, 15 bucks. Uh, I needed that sale and that's some more that came out through, uh, uh, through the marketplaces uh, yesterday. So some decent ones. I actually had to cancel one, unfortunately, uh, that I did not have. It did not show up in inventory. I hate uh, the way this one marketplace does not update their on hand. If I don't up, when, when you uh, sale triggers, uh, you you have to go in and, and manually update the on hands. They don't take care of that through the computer. And if you forget to do that, then you oh, you oversell. So uh, silly, silly, silly. But it did happen one more time. I got to drop off these packages. I'll be right back, guys. All right. So. Like I said, had a cancellation uh, that I had to take care of, but I, I did get quite a few packages yesterday, probably half a dozen. Uh, I have woke up two orders today, one order to be honest, uh, which is a good start for the day. It does appear that it's possible that gift card season is upon us. So uh, I hope, I hope, I hope that uh, we have a really good January. I don't expect it to be December, but hopefully we have a really good January. Uh, and we're off to a good start. I, uh, I hope and see great things compared to last year. You know, my daughter uh, asked me, uh, what am I trying to say? My daughter asked me, with so many of the big retailers suffering, how I'm able to prosper, or, or she was trying to caution me, <laughs> uh, but you know, I, I informed her that uh, their, their size is their weakness. You know, uh, you can only get so big in a in a, in a building. You know, uh, holding basically the same amount of inventory. It's one thing to uh, stay a certain size and feel the impact when the business isn't the same. But when you're growing at an exponential rate, it's quite possible that in other years, the fruits of my labors would be multiplied. Uh, but since I don't have anything to base that off of, I just see doing more and getting more. You know, it, it's quite possible that, let's say, I'm, you know, uh, I've said it before, you know, I'm 10 times the business than I was last year, uh, but I'm only reaping four times the benefits. Now four times, 400% is huge, 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 uh, but it's possible in other years that are more fruitful that 10 times the, the inventory, 10 times the, the products uh, would equal 10 times the business. 
uh, where they're at, they're, they have roughly the same amount of products, uh, and they're, they're getting you know 75 percent of the business or whatever. Those math equations are totally skewed, but I think you get what I, I'm trying to uh, describe. In a nutshell, that's why I can flourish and they can uh, uh, struggle. And uh, so it, it has been a beautiful thing. I do believe it will continue to be a beautiful thing. Uh, and I do believe the old uh, saying is true, you know, if, you, if you're not moving forward, you're moving back. And a lot of those stores uh, this year are seeing that moving back thing. They're not, they're not growing in their footprints. And I understand the, the gravity of trying to open up new stores or, or overseeding a, a, a certain market or whatnot. But there are uh, opening, there, there's uh, new development everywhere and the opportunity to expand everywhere. Uh, and even in a down market, now I do believe we're on the verge uh, of land becoming cheap. I really do. I think we're. They're, they are going to have the opportunity to spread their wings as well, even though they can only push so much inventory through one brick and mortar building. I, I think uh, the difference in the people that succeed and the people that continue to struggle on a large scale are, are those that, that take the opportunity over the next couple of years to expand their foothold in the, uh, within society. And then, in more fruitful years, uh, it's just going to blow. It really is. Uh, I apologize for the quality of this video today. This is, this is normally a lot more crisp. I've got to got to do better. <laughs> got to do better. Uh, so we will. I will. Uh, let me see what else. I am going to try to get with Larry, uh, the house guy, and see when if and when, when, we can set up a time to go take a look at those two houses uh, because I do believe that is the next step towards buying those two properties. Oh. Uh, but yeah, I do believe that's the, the next step in buying those two properties. I don't want to really do it quick, but I uh, did get my performance car uh, from a couple of the marketplaces today that I was kind of worried about and they're saying that I'm meeting just about every online metric that I'm supposed to. Uh, so they should let bygones be bygones and let me continue to sell. And if not, I should find out before I end up buying that house and I'll be able to back out of it if I need to. But I don't, I really don't think because of a little attitude they're going to uh, cancel me, so to speak. I um, would surely hope not. Hopefully it take more than that. I know I've talked to them about things since then, and they decided to uh, do the right thing on those, so I am happy about that. They were actually real friendly on it, so maybe they've had somebody overlook, or overlook, look over the uh, conversations, uh, and although I was pretty well PC up until the last message, uh, which I was a little snotty with on the last message. Uh, the rest of it was pretty well pre PC, and they were in the wrong. So maybe, maybe they've had a little oversight because they did seem to handle me differently with this last request. So I am happy about that, uh, and, and I don't think they're going to cancel me. And, and so I will move forward with it. Uh, I am excited about the box truck idea, guys, because that could open up so, so much. And, and uh, an old uh, dream, not dream, an old dream, whatever, uh, was a renovating a school bus. I'm not doing that at all. Uh, but I did look at school buses yesterday while looking at box trucks to compare the difference. But the street that I'm on is super small and a, a school bus would work in much the same way. Uh, but I'm not doing that. That's not the right move. Uh, the box trucks are more expensive. But ideally, if I can get one with a, a lift gate, I can be lazy and fabulous. 
getting in and out of that thing. So I am at work. I am running late on time. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.